this is Charlotte. She's two years old. On Mother's Day of 2015, um, Charlotte lost her ability to walk. Charlotte's story, you know, is amazing. She is able to walk again when she wasn't able to walk at all, and they weren't actually sure that she ever would be able to walk again. Even though that, you know, she can walk now, it's daunting because it's always there that she, you know, this could happen again. She could relapse and she could lose complete her com complete ability to walk again. I never really could imagine that this was going to be our lives. HHT is a relatively rare disorder. It affects approximately one in 5,000 people. It's a hereditary disorder. It's passed down through the family. Uh, hemorrhagic, it's a bleeding disorder. And a telangiectasia is an abnormal connection between blood vessels. It's highly underdiagnosed. So that we really need to raise awareness of this disease so that people with the disease can get diagnosed and get the treatment that they need. We're really delighted to be part of the International Cure HHT organization uh, and excited to uh, lend the expertise of UPMC uh, and the University of Pittsburgh to the goal of finding a cure. Well, the Cure HHT Center of Excellence uh, means that we are recognized uh, as having an expertise in the management of this condition. What well, gives patients access in a coordinated way to all the uh, specialists required to treat, again, the various complications of the disease, nosebleeds, strokes, uh, bleeds into the brain, uh, pulmonary malformations, GI bleeds. When you diagnose HHT in one patient, uh, half of their family members may have the condition as well. Charlotte just recently had her labs come in and they just recently sent out my mother's and myself. But if Charlotte has it, then I obviously have to have it. It was very frightening because most of the doctors we had talked to had never even heard of it. And for 30 years, I had gone undiagnosed with plenty of symptoms. The genes responsible for causing HHT were discovered more than 10 years ago, but we really don't know what the proteins that they encode, we don't know what their function is within the cell. So my research is focused on trying to understand what these proteins normally do in the cell and why, when they're not made properly, do these malformations form. So if, if we can better understand how these malformations form, then we might be able to develop medications that are specifically targeted to this disease. I was very scared for my children until Dr. Faber got in contact with me and told me that, you know, this isn't a death sentence. He told me that, that they were putting together this center, which gave me hope for my children, basically, that they would, you know, have somewhere to be treated, that someone would know what this is and how to treat it. It definitely will change things for my other children if they are tested positive for HHT. If one